All right. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. <coughs> My name is Gaurav. I can see familiar Indian faces or Indian looking faces, so you know what that name means. Uh, me and my family decided to move here early last year. We applied for a visa, we looked at what was available, and uh, the South Australian government was kind enough to sponsor us for a regional 489 visa. I came through in late last year, and uh, we leveraged the summer vacation. You know what the summer vacation is in in the Northern Hemisphere, over here it's winter. <laughs> so my wife and my kids, we came over here for the summer vacation. They've gone back, they'll be joining me once I get a job. Well, now I've got a job, so they'll be joining me very soon. So very quickly, I was thinking about what I can share with you and the challenges that I faced and what, what, what exactly was the approach I had. So local experience, biggest challenge. How did I respond to that in interviews? How did I prepare myself? Firstly, how did I respond to that? I've been in the IT industry, so I've worked with global teams. So I made sure I highlighted that whenever I was asked this question. Many over here who may, have, who may be in the IT industry have worked with teams from America. You have client calls you know, at Vegas in the uh, Indian time zone. You work with people from Europe. You may have even worked with teams from Sydney. And that's what I did. So I highlighted that. I said, this you may want to consider this as local experience. I know what the work culture is. I know what the approach is of Australians, and not just Australians, but global. But that works mostly for IT industry, right? So, and this, of course, is my story. So whatever you can take from it, please do. The second thing was, as soon as I got here, I looked up those so many voluntary jobs on Seek, and also there's uh, Seek, yeah, mostly Seek, and I picked up two voluntary jobs. One of them was with the St. Vincent de Paul Society. You may have seen some stores uh, on the streets. Vinnie's, that's what it's called, it's an op shop, and they do a lot of voluntary work. Matter of fact, later this evening, even though I have a job, I'm continuing to volunteer. This evening, I'm going to meet them, and we're going to be discussing how I can use my experience in the IT industry to help structure and improve their processes. They want some forms to be filled. I'll just be using Google Forms and I'll teach them. Right? Some of them may know, some of them may not. So small things like that. Voluntary jobs don't necessarily mean you need to have a particular skill of a very high level. The second voluntary job I took up was with NDIS, National Disability, uh, an organization which, which leverages that. It's called Oran. Now, interestingly, in my spare time back home, I would make small videos of my children playing the guitar or doing something. You know, my Patrick would use Windows Movie Maker. And I got pretty good at making small short films. And I used them, I used this talent to even uh, put up short videos on Instagram and other social uh, media. Now they had a requirement. They said they want a volunteer who can help them with media and making short films for their services. I said I could do that and I applied. And the next morning I got a call and they said we'd like to speak to you. I said sure. So I took the bus, went to Netlin, the head office, uh, the office over here. And I spoke to them, I showed them my work. I didn't show them my resume. I didn't tell them I'm an IT professional. All I did was talk about my weekend life. That I do this, I can do this. And they were very happy. And we started working almost immediately. Right? So two things to gain local experience. Two volunteering jobs I picked up. If anybody in this room is interested in working with Vincent DePaul Society, please meet me afterwards. I can point you in the right direction, and uh, how to address the question itself. Do you have local experience in interviews or on your cover letter? Highlight if you have worked ever with any uh, team apart from your native team, right? So that was the, how I addressed the local challenge question, uh, local experience challenge. That's how I answered the local experience. 
<laughs> right. So now what did, what else did I do? Everything what they said, I did. And what they said makes sense because if you do that meticulously, this is where you stand. From the day I landed, and my family went back after that. I started applying for jobs. I targeted only one job per day. Well, this is in retrospect. This information, this is statistics that I'm giving you. I didn't aim for it to be that way, but it turns out what I did was on Google Docs, I maintained a spreadsheet with a couple of more than a couple of columns where I wrote down the date, the job I'm applying for, the industry it is in, the name of the company, the date that the job was, you may want to take this down. <laughs> The date that the job was first advertised, when I applied on it, and what version of my resume I sent them. I customized my resume for each and every job that I applied for. How do you do that? How did I do that? This is my story. Apart from the wonderful tips, how did I do that? I looked at the job description. I saw what words are equivalent to or appear in my resume as well and I made sure that those were the ones that appeared or rather were highlighted all right and then comes the cover letter which of course we've got fantastic tips I won't tell you what I did all of that and selection criteria me being from the e-learning industry the jobs I could apply for were anything and everything in education sector over here are so many university and educational institutions, so I, I did apply for them. And uh, what happened was, I got a response from quite a few of them, I'd say more than 50%. But then it, it would get stuck in between local experience and someone with more experience in, uh, in a non-e-learning kind of a, a environment, right? <coughs> So I used an approach which is called a STAR approach, S-T-A-R, it's an acronym, for writing or responding to the selection criteria. Most jobs have the job description and the selection criteria. So S-T-A-R stands for situation, task, action, and result. Fantastic. So I did that. Right, and I applied for jobs. Now, which one out of this helps me? I'll tell you in the end. One of the things that each one of them touched on was networking. So I did a lot of that as well. I went out there and went for meets. Uh, Microsoft has an office over here. Very regularly, they have sessions which discusses the technicalities of one of their products. Azure being the current thing that they're discussing. Me being in project management, I went for agile meetups. As a matter of fact, another one is happening on this Thursday. So professional institutions or organizations, associations, look them up, join them. There are a number of websites which will also tell you the calendar of events that happen. Look them up. In addition to Seek, in addition to LinkedIn, I applied for 17 jobs from on a, which I got from uh, a website called Glassdoor. How many of you heard of Glassdoor? Right. So yeah. So Glassdoor is not only to go there and rant about your previous employer, but it's you can also find jobs there. Right? So these couple of things which I did different. I don't know which one of them worked, but this is what my experience has been. And I would think finally how I got my current job was in, was a combination of all of these. It was a, a networking, um, quite a bit of networking that helped. A lot of the resume that I sent helped a lot. My cover letter helped. And the people who spoke to me, I had three rounds of interviews in as many weeks. And uh, what I spoke to them, how I spoke to them, same tips. Write it down 
I made sure I wasn't in my shorts. <laughs> I actually got up and got ready. I will make sure that I stayed at home, take all the calls, and over and above when I was applying. So, right. So, quickly to circle back to the uh, statistic, I ended up applying for 36 jobs in about 35 days. That was because I focused like this on each particular job. And so I didn't spend more than four hours a day at home in front of my computer applying for jobs. Only four hours a day. And after which, I would just let it be, involve myself in something else, go out, walk, go to the professional associations and things like that. Right? So last thing, recruitment professionals. I went to a recruitment prof professional uh, people bank, spoke to Ronnie Thomas. He gave me a lot of advice. I told him about what a, I don't have local experience, how do I do it? He said, that doesn't matter. It is covered in your resume. You make these, these changes in your resume. I said, fair enough, I gave it to him. And then after that, I went and met him uh, personally uh, the next day or something like that. And then he gave me a list of things that I should do. He said, go and meet every recruitment professional that you know, don't, not just people back. I said, fair enough. I asked him, how do I address the local experience uh, question. So he says you could do a lot of things, but don't worry, we can get you a, a job. We're ready to take up something that is not in your line. I said, fair enough. Kuti asked him, what about volunteering? He said, that doesn't happen. And then finally, he gave me the best advice, was to stay away from negative people. So I didn't go and meet him ever again. And then, <laughs> and then I landed this job. I do see him in the city sometimes, but yeah, he ignores me, I ignore him. So stay positive, stay focused, and stay persistent. One of the most important things. There is a word in the Hindi language, but it's not a, it's not a Hindi word, but it's a, it's a slang from Delhi. Anybody from Delhi, you mean? OK. And those of you who know the street language, you know, it's called Basar. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't get involved with a lot of you know nonsense and don't just create havoc. Yeah, the closest word in English I think would be havoc. So don't do that. Be patient, persistent, and just keep on, and you will get there. All right? Thanks. <laughs>